What's up guys, this is Hardik here. So after the release of the 7.1 ROM for the Nexus 5X, we now have a 7.1 ROM for our 6P as well. So a developer named Klai381 did port the ROM for the 6P as well and it's called the Super XC ROM for the Nexus 6P. So today I'll be showing you how to flash it and also giving you my first impression of this ROM. So flashing this ROM is basically 50% like flashing other ROMs and 50% like doing some other stuff as well. So I'll be showing you that uh, in a bit. So basically the thing you have to download are four files uh, first being the ROM itself second being the G apps third being the uh, vendor image and fourth being the bootloader and the radio files as as well so I'll be posting all the links in the description below also to the main XDA page in the description so do check the description out as well so once all the files are downloaded the first thing I'll recommend here to do is just go into your settings and just take off your password uh, on your device thing here is uh, when I flashed the um, CM14 ROM for the Nexus 14.1 ROM for the Nexus 6P, after booting up my 6P, uh, basically uh, whenever I entered my password, it said wrong password. So the thing I had to do is go into TWRP, go into the file manage, and then erase the log from there itself. So why do extra things? So basically keep it to swipe and just remove your password. Yes. Uh, and once that's done you're basically good to go so do one thing after doing that just reboot into your recovery so power off your device and just reboot into your recovery by holding the power and volume down button at the same time so the recovery i'm having here is the twrp recovery and also just make sure that you're on the latest one which is the 3.0.2-2 which is the latest one as for now uh, i'll be posting those links in the description as well so once into twrp recovery make sure you have all the old rom and vendor image and system image backed up in case you mess something up you can easily restore it from the backup itself so i did make a backup as you can see i can restore it from there uh, but after making a backup just go into wipe go into advanced wipe select dalvik art cache system in data and the cache do not select the internal storage because uh, there you have the rom file itself and all the data so just do one thing swipe to confirm the wipe and basically it will wipe your device so once the wiping is done just go to the home again go to install and scroll down and select the location that you have your rom file so basically i'm having it right over here uh, it says angular ota uh, the 12 11 2016 one so just tap on it and just swipe to confirm flash and just wait until it's done so once the rom is flashed again go back and select the g apps for now i have the open g apps the nano version but you can download any any g apps that you want the full stock or anything but i recommend flashing the nano ones because 99 percent of times the nano g apps work and other g apps fail uh but yeah nano are the safest one so hit on the g apps swipe to confirm flash again and again wait until it's done so once the g apps are flashed our work is not done yet so what you have to do is just go to home just have to tap hit on reboot and just go to the bootloader because as I said, we have to flash the vendor image, the bootloader and the radio file. So just take your laptop or your PC, anything that you have and be ready. So basically once you're into bootloader, just connect your device to your laptop or your PC. Uh, and considering you have all the ADB and fastboot devices on your laptop or your PC, we'll be proceeding further. So do download the uh, vendor, the radio and the bootloader and just paste it into the ADB and fastboot uh, if you don't have it I'll be linking it in the description below uh, it will be basically in uh, your C drive into ADB and just paste it over here so once over here just hit on shift and hit the right key and hit on the open command window over here so once you are over here we will first have to flash the vendor image so basically uh, just to check it if you have the device connected just just type fastboot devices and as you can see our device is connected over here so once that's confirmed just go ahead and type fastboot flash vendor v and just hit on the tab button and as you can see uh, it auto detects the vendor image and just hit on enter button and will basically flash the vendor image So once the vendor image is flashed, we'll just flash the bootloader first. So fastboot, flash, 
bootloader bootloader.image hit on enter it's done then fast boot reboot dash bootloader just reboot the bootloader and then flash the fast boot the radio fast boot flash radio radio dot image hit enter it will write the radio and it's done and again fast boot reboot bootloader after flashing the vendor image the radio and the bootloader just reboot your device and basically you're good to so just power it off and we'll just power it on again and we should be into the rom So there you can see once you completely booted is the pixel setup screen over here so we'll just hit let's go there we go now the lighting is a bit better so we'll just start up as a new device i'll just connect to my wi-fi and i'll be right back so once our wi-fi is connected we'll check for updates checking for info so after adding my google account i agree it's getting the account info I'll add a fingerprint, fingerprint plus pattern, no thanks, there you go, even the picture was of a pixel device, so adding a fingerprint is quite easy, just like the Nexus 6P, we are done, so hit done, scroll down, hit next. It's again checking for something. Okay, Google Assistant. So we'll continue with that as well. So that's that's a really really neat thing. We have the assistant built in over here. So get started. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. There you go. Assistant is done. Finished. And all set. Restoring and we are in so right away as you can see we don't have the pixel launcher over here uh, it's some other launcher of some kind i don't know but the icons as you can notice are circle which is like a really really neat thing so as you can see we have the circular icons over here as well so quickly going into settings uh, you also get the blue accents over here which is which are from pixel so going into settings we get the support tab over here and the blue accent again as i said I'm going to about phone and as you can see the android version is 7.1 which is based on the pixel uh, also the build number is angular user debug 7.1 so yep now we'll be just checking out if there are any new features in this rom so uh, going to more we have default nfc and stuff going down into display let's see if we have the nightlight mode um we do not have the night light mode never mind just scrolling down again uh we have the moves so we have the jump to camera and the flip camera move we do not have the uh, fingerprint sensor like swipe down for the notification panel but yep that was not even expected in this rom so going back again we have tap and pay for android pay uh then we have storage we have memory and scrolling down again we have all the basic things that we get in the next cell as well as the pixel so yeah that's pretty much it we do not have shit ton loads of apps over here just what we need we also got the play store so we could install apps from there as well uh, as we flash the nano one so we just got the play store also if you could notice we have the pixel navbar animation on this rom as well so there you can see there's the Google Assistant as well, uh, and the Pixel Navbar animation is present over here as well. So yeah, for now that's been it, guys. Think about this video. Just toss the Pixel Launcher on this, uh, flash the Pixel Launcher to get the uh, Google Now page over here, 
and go into settings if you want to change the dpi or the display size you could do that as well so yeah there are like tons and tons of features in this rom basically the stock features that the google pixel has you have it on your device as well so yeah that's been it guys thank you for this video if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you want to subscribe also i'll be posting a follow-up review of this rom soon on my channel so stay tuned for that as well and i'll see you guys in my next one